Hi guys and welcome to this video describing and explaining the properties of metals. Now I'm going to start off by going through what the main properties of metals are. The first two of which are that metals are malleable and they are good conductors. Which means they are strong conductors of heat and strong conductors of electricity. And malleable means they can be hammered into shape. And the other ones you need to know are they have high melting points. They are shiny. They are solid at room temperature. They are usually more dense than water. And they are insoluble. Now the two main properties you need to be able to explain are why they can conduct electricity and why they are malleable. And in order to do that you need to know a little bit about metallic bonding. So when we talk about the structure of metals we say that they have a giant structure and that structure is made up of lots and lots of positive metal cations surrounded by a sea of delocalized electrons. Now we can use this information to explain why they have high melting points and the key reason for this is there is a strong force of attraction between the delocalized electrons and the metal cations. This is called an electrostatic attraction. This gives it strong bonds. Now this means that lots of energy is needed to break these strong bonds which also means that it gives it high melting points and boiling points. Another property is that all of these particles, these cations, are packed really closely together, which makes it dense. And our delocalized electrons are free to move. If they're free to move, it means they can carry a charge, which means it can conduct electricity. Now, the final property you do need to know about is why they are malleable, and that is all down to the fact that they are in layers. And these layers can slide past each other. There's still a strong force of attraction between the delocalized electrons and the cations, so it stays together, which makes it malleable overall. Okay, that about sums up the video, so let's have a look at a couple of questions then. So, thinking back to what you've just been listening to and watching, identify three different properties of the metal copper, describe the structure of a metal, explain why metals can conduct electricity, and explain why metals have high melting points. Pause the video now, have a go, and we'll see how you've done in a min. Okay, let's go through then. So the first one says to identify three different properties of the metal copper. So it doesn't matter the fact they've put metal copper in there, it's just looking at the properties of metals. So, ones you could have gone for. Malleable. High melting point or boiling point. Conducts heat or electricity. Shiny and dense and insoluble you would have got one mark for any of these six bullet points, three in total. Question two, describe the structure of a metal. You're looking for the two key things. Cations for one mark, surrounded by a sea of delocalized electrons. It's that key word, delocalized, you need to get in there. In some exam papers, they might have given you for the giant structure, but I would focus on these two. Question three, explain why metals can conduct electricity. So the first mark is saying you've got your delocalized electrons again. That's a key, key phrase to learn. They're free to move for one mark, and they can carry a charge for one mark. Explain why metals have high melting points. Strong electrostatic attraction. It's that electrostatic, which is one of the key words you've got to learn for this exam. Between the electrons and the cations, you could have put delocalized electrons in here. It doesn't matter as much and lots of energy needed to break the bonds. Okay, that about sums up this video, so we'll have a look at the review section, which is choose three of the following properties and explain them. Number one, being copper is a good conductor of electricity. Number two, lead is very dense. Number three, aluminium is malleable. And number four, iron has a high melting point. So three of the four, choose them and explain that property for me. That ends this video. Hi guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, click the subscribe button down below and visit the website mrbarnstc.com for more.